Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser is Poland. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, the left wing of the Socialist Party is now becoming a little bit more powerful in the country. Uh, we're going to do float our currency, we're going to nationalize the bank, and hopefully that'll uh, make Black Monday a little bit less painful. The Metsky's text. Oh my god, they're texting already? It's 1937. That's fucking stupid. Yet again, we have come across Panthers repeating uh, Roman Domensky's hateful words being shared in villages, slums, and even in churches. Much of it has been printed by the illegal identity newspaper, Gazatza Wolna Warzaksa, uh, but their network of underground prints have proven too elusive to crush entirely. Domensky, who uh, directs the propaganda campaign from Moscow, has written another fire on Brimstone essay calling for a nationalist uprising and throwing off the yolk of the Prussian tyrant. The most worrying part of this is many, uh, part is that many seem to be interested in the promises of, of a truly Polish and Catholic nation, free of impurities and poverty. So right now, nationalists are at 31%. The popularity of monarchy is still at 32. So I mean, we're not um, we're we're not doing worse than than they are. We got Serbia, Romania, Greece all declared war on Bulgaria. They had a Zveno coup, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think for this war, what we care most about is just high casualty rates. Because Serbia, Romania, Greece, and Bulgaria, almost all of them can, will certainly be hostile to our uh, to our interests in the future. The came of national unity. In a radio address today, Colonel Adam Koch announced the creation of a, the OZN, a came of national unity. The party is mostly formed out of conservative politicians, thinkers, and veterans. The manifesto is centered on General Ritz Smigli, who has acted as the heir to Politsky's legacy. The OZN has uh, declared their interest in supporting Ritz Smigli's campaign to strengthen and uh, militarize Poland to weather the coming storms. The platform is essentially copied from the National Democrats, featuring anti-Semitic rhetoric of purification of Poland from foreign elements and veneration of traditional Christian values. Uh, we should keep an eye on them. But again, we can't trust the nationalist because now the nationalists have more support than I do. And that's probably bad, right? Does, does this add up to 100? 30, 50, 80, um, 80, 86, 87, 94. So it doesn't. Unless I'm bad at math. But I, I think that's right. The critique of the king among her allies. The CHZJN politicians have typically refrained from any harsh critique of the king since the cooperation following the 1934 elections. Despite this, some members of the party have spoken harshly against some of the king's policies, such as the continued influence of General Gusterian and received economic concessions to Berlin. While not actively anti monarchist these sentiments have sparked some alarm among the court, and high Privy councillors are calling for the removal of these agitators from public office on terms of acting against their own government. I can't, I, I gotta not strengthen the nationalist. They're already, uh, they're already too powerful, which is bad plus. I guess you guys also probably have an offensive line. Again, I'm not expecting to invade, uh, Glissy Lord Emiria, but it is something that we should at least be uh, wary of. Do not strengthen any of you. We're gonna nationalize the Bank of Poland. This might cause the Germans to be a little bit upset with us. Decision regarding Black Monday will now be more expensive. I mean, that seems pretty bad. But I don't think we have any decisions to deal with Black Monday right now as it is. So, I mean, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, actually, we have some options over here. We can Republicans. We can subsidize companies. Yes. Apparently, I've not even noticed that these have been op- How long have these been here? I don't know. Well, I guess we should, we should, get, we should be working on that, huh? Commune on agent caught. Late last night, we caught a French spy named Pierre Madlet uh, trying to cross the southern border. His hers was, as we expected, building contacts with the Polish syndicalist. Marlat took part in the Congress of the Polish Socialist Party a few weeks ago, no gear carrying instructions from Polish traders in Paris to stack the party's leadership with communist sympathizers instead of true law-abiding Poles. This direct uh, contact with the Polish leader movement is extremely worrying, but we have little proof of him actually influencing the PPS conference. There's little we can do legally besides punishing him for espionage. We can try to punish you. We'll punish the agent. Don't push it quite yet. Republicans at the moment are at 4%. They're little babies. They, you know, they, they, they're, they're nothing. It's either going to be a nationalist republic, a socialist republic, or the God-fearing king himself. Those, those are our options right now. 
the just generic liberal Poland. Not gonna happen. Also, now the Ottoman Empire has intervened in the war against Bulgaria, they're fucked. <laughs> they, they, they stand no chance at all. Okay, Bulgarian Ottomans have immediately sent a peace agreement. You know what? Understandable. If I was Bulgaria, I would I would do the same thing, to be quite honest with you. But actually, no, if I was Bulgaria, I would have already won the war. So, you know, we're not we're not the same. Okay, Second American Civil War, machine tools. U.S. Civil War is not a big deal for us. Conversion rate, I mean, I, it, it could be good, actually. Let's go over them. I mean, 38 is a little bit too expensive. You're too, you know what? Give me radio. Bitterness amongst the peasants. The southeastern parts of Poland, such as the deeply agrarian Lublin and Stedelisk, have been long been bashed into the Radical People's Party and the subsequent hotbeds of peasant unrest. Uh, the so-called Malopolska, the less of Poland, have been hard, hard by economic hardship, which has escalated already soft, strong bitterness of unequal land ownership into full-blown resistance. The PSL has bully taken up the mantle of defender of the peasants, but then called the strong Polish peasants as a true expression of Polishness. A few days ago, the PSL, along with some peasant organizations, announced a number of marches and demonstrations in the countryside to pressure the government to see their plight. At this point, their posturing is hardly a break from the ordinary, but it's still highly disruptive to the economy. I'm going to, yeah, 4% stability. We're going to let the Republicans gain some strength. Because if the Republicans get stronger, it actually weakens both, it weakens both the Socialist and the Nationalist. Which is, I'm sure, good. Also, Canada's invoked the War Measures Act. Good, good, you know. Probably, again, doesn't really affect us too much, I think. I mean, even though the Entente will be useful when it comes to the Second Vilk Creek against the Internationale, I don't think it's going to be a major, major concern. So we've nationalized the bank. Let's do the second four-year plan. Do we now have more options? Here we do. Yes, yeah, so I kind of want to get all of this stuff done. Belgium has joined the international. Okay, that actually is pretty bad. Did Nicholas, I mean, I mean, more countries that leave the German sphere, obviously it's not what we want. Okay? That, that, that goes without saying. However, there is no ever. It's, it's just bad, actually. I mean, hopefully the Dutch will stay, um... We'll say maybe aligned to Germany at some point. I mean, they could have a revolution themselves. I mean, if Switzerland, Belgium, and the uh, Dutch all join Paris, that'd probably just kill Poland and, and would, def would destroy Germany. You'd have to take a guess. Increase anti monarchist sentiment. Uh, there's been yet another surge of membership of anti monarchist organizations, especially in the League of Polish Statehood, av which advocates for a heartbreak from Germany and a union with Austro Galicia. Beating on the poor situation in Poland, and no doubt with discreet help from Austria herself, groups like these are openly critical of the king, and many of the newspapers need to be continuously censored to call out the more radical parts. These so-called Republicans have convinced many for the need of revolution, one that would throw away the civilized order and sell their nation to the Austrians. We must do our best to convince them otherwise. Like, I don't, I don't understand why um, the people of Poland, for some reason, think that being underneath an Austrian emperor is any better than being under a German king. I mean, it... it it's not like... Like, Austria... Austria is Austria. They kind of, like, suck. They're not... They're, not they're, they're nothing. Who can... I mean, I guess Germany had Black Monday, sure. Also, what are our national spirits? I think someone actually in the comments said, hey, can you look at the national spirits? I think, I think like midway through episode, I think we're on episode five now. That seems like the perfect time to do it. So let, let's go through. So you got polarized society, which is the stability and war support penalties. Oh, you actually just generate syndicalism and national, uh, national popular support. Excellent. One extra operative slot, which is pretty good. Black Monday, which we're trying to deal with. Special army, armory and division attack. Always nice to have. And monthly population is pretty bad. Research is bad. Production efficiency caps also pretty uh, poor as well. So a lot of like not great things there. Okay, we'll look at these numbers. 24, 14, 28. 
The Great Peasant Strike. The situation in Lesser Poland has escalated quickly. After the PSL announced a nationwide peasant strike, the Peasant Order Guard, the PSL's militia, has taken control of roads around Lublin, Sadis, Sandomirs, and Schlem, uh, stopping, stopping any food deliveries into the cities. Reports state that many experienced strike organizers have traveled uh, from far to join the PSL struggle for the peasants' cause. The demands are outrageous. Nothing less than the dismissal of the royal government, release of the political prisoners, land reforms, and social welfare, even calls to the abdication of the king. The protests quickly lost their peaceful nature as the peasant militia began beating government strike breakers and attacking their homes. I mean, either way, do I want... I don't want to... No, send in the police. 10% construction speed. Not worry, Bo. I want to get 50 political power so we can do one of these ones down here. Uh, let's get you next. We'll do cooperate, uh, cooperative subsidies. Polska Ben uh, Proletario. It's rare for book releases to become matters of national security, but while Jack Sletsky's work, uh, Polska Ben's Proletario, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying no noises, has raised many eyebrows around the country. Uh, Zaleski, co-founder of the radical and ultra-nationalist ONR, is a rising star among the right, second only to Adam Dobensky's himself. The gospel Zaleski is preaching is not pleasant for supporters of the kingdom, and the calls for tearing down the corrupt system, building it anew. Something that is neither capitalist nor cynicalist, but entirely a Polish idea. The, in ONR's ideal Poland nation would be ruled along the lines of Catholic morals, without Jews, liberalisms, or the troubles of capitalist raw barbarians or socialist depravity. We abandoned the sale of his books, but there are still plenty of underground prints smuggling from the south, which still gladly spreads uh, nationalist pro uh, pedagogy? I actually don't know what that word is. Uh, to our kingdom. Okay, so we got the ONR, which is a bit of a bit of an issue right now. They're not actually even listed in here, but I'm assuming they're underneath the, uh, the National League. Countryside and chaos. Let the cities die. Long live the nationwide strike. They cannot arrest millions, screaming the protesters, as well organized police units march to the break of the roadblocks erected by the peasants. The situation quickly escalated into a fight as bands of peasant militia would not disperse despite orders to do so, which led to the police opening fire before the militiamen armed with sticks, knives, and old guns could attack them. Fighting broke out and the crowd started to take over police stations. Uh, the entire Lublin police was paralyzed with dozens of Zed officers countrywide. Multiple calls of help were sent to Warsaw, pleading for the king to send in the military, or should we want to keep our hands less bloody and send in German units under pretext of protecting German-owned properties? I don't like literally any of these options, but I guess we'll send in the army? I mean, the king's not very popular right now, and I, I can understand why. Strike the nationalist, modernize, or we get research speed. Do we have anything else we can maybe want to look at? Honestly, right now, I think the answer is basically no. In literacy campaign, we get a research slot, which is not bad. Let, let's modernize urban infrastructure first. Let's not strengthen the socialists and the nationalists while we're in the middle of a massive crisis. That would be my, uh... That would be my guess here. Okay, so we got a civil war going on in Austria. We'll see what they end up doing. My, my, they're probably just going to go for um, unification. I, I like. I don't think. I think we've seen maybe like once or twice where Austria does the military occupation path. It, it's just, it's just not a good path to go down. I mean, we, we did it one time, but that, that's about it. And that was just for the fun of it. Oh, Switzerland joined the international. Very cool. Remember when I said that, um, when I, when I said that that would be a bad thing? Oh, and, and you've abdicated the throne? That also is pretty bad. So you're in the international. Even though right now you're still, uh, market liberal. I'm assuming that's going to change soon. Who are you? Who the hell is Juliana? Is this, um, yeah, you can overthrow the system. They, they might... I have no way. Well, we'll find out, I guess. I mean, if the Dutch win the international, I'm pretty sure that at that point, we might as well just kiss this campaign over. The People's Day. Uh, Mount Azar Labor Day on the 1st of May. People's Day is a feast of Polish people's movement. Held on the first day of Pentecost, Polish peasants are encouraged to celebrate by displaying party banners and decorating their houses in green. The day is meant to be a purely peasant holiday, with only a green organization that allowed to show their flags. And it's become a usual time for the peasants to hold village gatherings and raise funds for the People's Party. 
So how how's that all going, by the way? 21, 19, 30. Our support is pretty freaking bad. We got military cooperation here as well. Okay, we can we can do some of this. Command power. Yeah, let's 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 do this with Germany. We'll do with yeah. That, that seems good. Peasant strikes crushed violently. At the time of pacification operation was successful, reinforced police units broke through the roadblocks and started dispersing the crowds by shooting. Uh, by shooting. Peasants and their family were beaten with batons, and more than 40 peasants were killed in skirmishes with militias. Thousands of people were denied uh, or were detained under the doctrine of collective responsibility. Sometimes most of the village young men were arrested. Despite the claims of cruelty and police barbarism, the struggle is the strike was eventually quelled, and PSL leaders officially ended the struggle. Find and punish the agitators, so this is a manpower penalty. You remove this. Yeah, let's get you productive again. Hopefully nothing bad will happen here. A joint exercise with the German Empire. Lessons of the exercise, coronation, concentration force of the will. Yeah, let's go with you. Hey, 25 earn experience, I'll take it. It'll uh, get us a little bit closer to getting another land doctrine, which I think will be quite nice for us. Construction two. What resources do we actually have in Poland? Fucking nothing. Okay, cool. So we don't want to get extraction. That's not going to do too much for us. I guess we'll go over 38 uh, weapons here as well. The Liberals in the Privy Council. Let me, let me just take a quick look at these numbers. To the great distress of more reactionary-minded councillors, the King has appointed a fair share of more liberal individuals to his advisory council. Uh, mostly through personal contacts with the Polish upper classes. One of the more vocal constitu uh, constitutionalists among these is Senator Stanislaw Downaritsk. Down uh, a long-time statement in front of the Prime Minister, uh, Polensky. Uh, he's a loud opponent of the reactionary policy of the kingdom, and has always been a voice of modernization and even cooperation with the census law. Uh, this does not want him much support from the Germans nor the conservative hardliners. In his later proposal, the king, uh, Down Arowich, suggested closer interpartisan cooperation with the census law, and has offered to use his many contacts to form a truce with the opposition. We cannot replace you. Hunt political power... I'll become, become a little bit more popular. You know what? I'm willing to try it. We'll see what you can do. Let's compose the final report, because I mean, there's nothing else we can actually, I think, do here. This will be done in 14 days. I mean, you're now at 8%. Lingering Austrian control. So that's only negative two. It's actually not so bad. Right now, like, we're pretty much in complete control of the economy. Factory output, 15% for 180 days. Let's expand the consumer industries first, and then we'll uh, think about getting the... Uh, what even was it? The electrification grid open. But I do think, at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everybody, if you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not doing a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.